Hey guys, so this here bringing you another video. Welcome back to Rush the Diamond. We return Plat 1, 12 OP. Uh, so this is actually my third game playing today, and I'm not making it up. You can check the the, uh, the OP.GG profile or whatever. Last two games haven't been uploaded to the channel because we have had two Rage Quitters in a row. Um, so it's a bit depressing, especially so close to Christmas. I'm recording this, I think, on the 23rd of December. So it's a bit like of a bummer that two games in a row uh, we have, you know, Rages and stuff, but whatever. We're playing Fizz. I was in the mood to play it. We've got a really good duo queue by the looks of it. Uh, you know, the game, we are firmly in Diamond MMR now, pretty much. And we might make this Thresh really sad by not, you know, giving him Diamond. <laughs> If we can win this game. Alright. Uh, apparently we want to invade red. I actually... Uh, corrupting potion might have been the better thing. But also Doran's ring is a good shout too. Because you want to have health to survive a talent early game. Oh yeah. Okay. Twitch chat. You guys can do a bet. And if you're on YouTube you can do a bet. Is there going to be a rage quitter this game? Again we've had two in a row. Is there going to be a third rage quitter in a row? Either team. You could say, say somebody. Say a champion from either team. And yeah. Oh, God. I'm really cold. I'm just going to keep... keep. Oh, I need a hoodie. My hoodie's there. I can't be bothered to go out and get it because then I have to move my blanket. First world problems. Oh. So, avoid Talon's first blood. Ooh! Yeah. Okay. That's a lot of mana use for only doing like by the time I regen basically no damage. So he's gone for the wait, what the hell's the cooldown on that? Whoa. That's a lot lower than I thought it was gonna be. So the enemy team tried to bush cheese. Which means Shaco didn't get a pull. Generally Shakos still need a pull, by the way. Worth noting. Nice. Caitlyn did have to flush though, unfortunately. God, that cooldown is so low. Huh. Some people in Twitch chat. Fizz or AFK. Hold up. Hold up. No, I think they these two duo Q um, have specifically gone Olaf Tarot because that combo is really scary. Imagine an Olaf that cannot be CC'd and then has immunity from Tarot. That sounds scary. Oh my god. People will be real cringe. This guy's looking for first blood, this Talon. See how aggressive he's going? Because again, Talon's whole thing is about getting that like early game damage in. His scaling with his passives is really good. With Ignite and the bleed early. Like a gank right now would actually go really well because Tar uh, Talon's playing so aggressive that so he's probably not really looking to the sides very much, so he'll be easily ganked. Nice. What do I want to max? Oh, Talon's trying to get the set card. To be honest, if you are trying to get the, uh, the, the the secret set card from getting 10 first bloods. Like, look how aggressive this guy's playing. But Fizz is pretty good at dealing with it. Uh, e, I guess, isn't it, on Fizz? Yeah, again, I gone just went completely blank. Oh. So I'm actually going to go another Dorans. Normally I don't do that, but I think it's worth doing when you're against a hyper-aggressive early champion that wants the snowball. Just try to deny it. Just try to deny his snowball. So Olaf, by the way, killed the Kaiser and that got he farmed a whole wave away from his AD carry. He's just gonna run. Good dodge. Bam, 
Just testing the waters. To be honest, didn't do that much damage. <sighs> Haven't played Fizz in a while. Okay. <coughs> Ooh. This could be a kill. Oh my god, what? Yeah, I'm rusty on Fizz, everybody. Holy moly. Uh, he must have gone deeper into our jungle. I guess. Hmm. Mm, nice. Um. Hell yeah. I don't know what Olaf's doing, <laughs> if I'm honest. Oh, okay, that's where. Okay, fair enough. What's the max rank you can climb with Cat realistically? I mean, any champion can get you to challenger. Again, when it comes to like what your maximum rank can be, it's more on the player than the champion because every champion can get to challenger and there's examples of mains and stuff for people that play every champion in challenger. Even like the weakest champions in the game, you know, that people would consider the weakest champions, there are examples of them even like mains of those champions being in challenger, so. Olaf is dead. He's playing way too aggressive without any pressure. There's nothing we can do about it. He just needs to not do that. Is a challenge team a one trick? There's probably a lot. Because most of solo queue isn't about champion strength, it's decision making. And to be honest, the game has kind of moved away from more mechanically intense things. Like season three, season four in that kind of area was the era of mechanics. Like, mechanics reign supreme. That's when, like, things were being innovated. Oh, that's when Insect Kick was, like, found out and all this stuff. Because it was about mechanics. Yeah, Riot's kind of gone away from mechanics the last few years. They've kind of just gone more about decision making, when to do dragons, when to do objectives. All that stuff is actually more important now. Or maybe, like, you know, not maybe more important, but just equally as important. Where before it used to be way more mechanics than that stuff. Oh, boy. So this is okay for me, by the way. Like, 10-ish farm. Well, by the time we get this farm, if we can get some of it, uh, we won't be that far. I leveled the wrong thing. Um, we won't be that far away from a Talon. He was hyper-aggressive in the early game. We survived it, didn't die. So yeah, now this has gone well. Scaling-wise, obviously, Fizz scales really well. You know, naturally, as an AP champion, is very, very reliant on items. And even getting a kill on him. Ooh, he is angry, boy. That's really good. He played that way too, like, aggressive. So his own aggression is really what's losing him to the lane, by the way. he It's hurting him more than helping. Which I would predict, I can't remember right now, so I might make myself look like a fool. Uh, I would predict he doesn't play Talon much. Because I think, you know, Talon, even though he's not very hard to play... He does require a lot of knowledge of how much damage do I deal right now, and I don't think this guy knows how much damage he's dealing. Oh, and there you go. Zero games played a Talon. What a guess. So all this guy, like, I think he's just got the idea, Talon aggressive, Talon aggressive, and that's all he's doing. He's just playing Talon aggressive, but... Damn. Olaf. <laughs> oh, brother. What? What? This Olaf and Talon, both of them are just playing way too aggro.
This should be a relatively free win this game though, which is cool. Shaco's not doing enough in the early game. Remember, Riot, you know, not even that long ago, changed Shaco's scaling to be back in the early game. So he has to pretty much get fed in the early game, otherwise the champion doesn't really do much anymore. Ah! Ooh. And Camille's doing really good in top lane, remember? Which is good. Again, I'm not like a massive fan of Camille because I just think a lot of other AD carries are just better. But yeah, oh, you're doing that. Uh, Kai Gentleman 91, welcome, dude. Thank you so much for your five months of Twitch Prime. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Merry Christmas. Do people say Merry Christmas or Happy Christmas? I know you can say both. But, you know. Most of Twitch chat is saying merry. There, is, there are a couple of happies, though. Because you're happy, clap along if you feel without a roof. Ugh. We wish you a Merry Christmas. I guess there's your answer. The uh, literal song is Merry Christmas, so there you go. Feliz Navidad. Na, 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 na. Venice, Navida. No, 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 no. Uh, James Jenks, 92. Welcome, dude. Thank you so much for your uh, prime. Yeah, thank you very much. Welcome, welcome. All right, Talon's not here, so push the lane. I was thinking about waiting here because I think I actually can kill Talon now fairly easily in the 1v1. So we're catching up with farm, which is good. <coughs> Do I want to bait him? I guess. If I use my E, he should then go aggressive. Okay, that works for me. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. Yeah, I think the way I'd say it is Merry Christmas and then Happy Holidays, I think. I think that's the way around that I would say it personally. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. All the gold. Wait, Camille's here. Ah! That hurt. I'm not having any of these wares. I'm done. Gimme, 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 give give noms. Don't want to go back yet. Because I don't think I really want to sell. Oh, wait, I can. I didn't realise that's only 1,400 gold. How do you say Merry Christmas in Welsh? I actually don't know. I, again, I've forgotten most of my Welsh. It's what happens when you don't use a language in many years. Oh. Guy Vindi ba escuelo henda. For those that are like wondering, what did I just say? I just asked if I can go to the to the toilet, please. And I'm not kidding. Back in school, so if you guys don't know, originally from Wales, did school in Wales, but I've lived in England most of my life. Um, moved back, moved to England when I was like nine years old. So yeah, predominantly, a, and I'm 25 now. So yeah, pretty much would call myself English um, at this point. But um, 
in my school in Wales, if you didn't ask in Welsh, can you go to the toilet, they wouldn't let you go. Hello. I'll just take the free kill rather than running around and finding a Kaiser. Doo -doo 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 -doo. But yeah, Welsh is a cool language. It's, it's very much dying out, though, is the problem. Like, that's why schools are so, like, intent of people saying stuff in Welsh. Son of a... Nah, nice thing. <coughs> But yeah, I know some Welsh still, like, you know, it's kind of lodged back in the memory. That ah, Olaf. Oh, he might actually be okay. No, damn, the little extra damage. This Olaf plays very aggressive. He's one and four, but he's farming really well, but he is dying quite a lot. <laughs> Half black wolf demon. Welcome very much. Tier one for 10 months. Morning, Huzz. Happy 10 year month and happy holidays. Thank you very much. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am definitely having to put my hoodie on after this. I am actually shivering. I've got goosebumps on my arms and I'm shivering. Wait, why have you got Dorans on Olaf? Huh? What the hell? That is, uh... Pretty dumb. Uh, I can kill him. He can do the dragon. Should be dead. Unless she's got heal. Ah, she had heal! Bummel. It's the new thing. I'd never do that, I don't think. But I guess I'm... I, I don't know, maybe it's a confidence thing. If you're not confident you can do well in the early game without the Dorans, then I guess. But I'm confident. If I'm playing Olaf, I, like, one, I don't need my early game to go crazy good. Secondly, if, you know, I'm, I'm confident without it, so I wouldn't waste the gold. I think that's just, like, a, a lot of wasting gold. Especially that he's against, like, I know he's against a Shaco and that, and that's early game, so maybe his thought process is like, oh, if I buy Dorans, then I've got a stronger early game, but why would you even want to try and fight a Shaco in the early game? Like, just let him win the early. So there's not really, I don't know, much point to it. What? Huh. He must have had Q up. He went that way, I'm pretty sure. Oh, him! Ah, thank you! Ba -ba -ba -da -da. But um, again, whenever you know there's a hook champion, sometimes just stop. Because they're obviously in, especially the high ratings, they're going to hook to where they think you're going to be. So just stop. Because they don't expect you to just stop. God damn it, this guy. He, like, he's basically, like, inting. <laughs> Way too aggressive by himself in enemy territory constantly. Alright, cool. Whoa. Wow. Talon can still one-shot people when this Talon's actually pretty weak. I suppose it's an AD carry, but still. Do, 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 do. Uh, Signor, welcome, dude, for 18 months. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Appreciate it, appreciate it. <sighs> Mm 
Why do I have a funny feeling that this Olaf will be taking the blue? And just uh, without putting a negative spin on the game, I will be reporting the Olaf for that clan tag. So don't, you know, to save the comments and stuff. I don't know why people have to try and be racist or edgy in a League of Legends game, but I presume it's young people. Hello. Nice. We could do Baron off that if we really wanted to. I guess it, yeah, we can and we can't. They can do it without me. Because I'm going to look for Shaco. I think I can one-shot him. Just to stop the steal. Potential. Obviously, he's, if he's up that way, then I can't stop him. Where the hell's the Shaco? What the... Okay, never mind. Well... Oh my god, I actually need to put a, a jumper on. I'm freezing. <coughs> Ugh, sorry, not very professional, but I am very... I'm actually struggling with how cold I am, which is a bit weird for me because I'm always normally hot. Okay, sorry. Uh, Sonia. <coughs> nice coming along. It's my favorite song by Sabaton. Um, what's the one that goes? Whatever that one is. Last stand, yeah, that one. I like that one. I'm not needed. We're just too far ahead. Again, the negative of the enemy team comp, they've got two assassins that got behind. Two assassins that got behind are never going to be able to do anything. It's the negative of playing assassins, you know? When your job is to kill people and if you get behind, you can't kill people. That means your job is completely gone. Would that be... Oh, no. It won't be soul. Nope. Hello. Move it to the music. <laughs> Sanka, you're dead. Yaman. What was that fly? Kind of expecting Shaco to go on the uh, Caitlyn, by the way. Kind of weirded out that he hasn't. Okay, he was there. This Shaco is really weak. <laughs> Alright, there we go. There's a nice fizz game for everybody. Finally, we got a game today. This is my third game today. First game without a rage quitter. We managed to do well. Because like, I don't think in the games that we lost, we were playing bad. We just had rage quitters in both of them. One at level 2 and the other one, like, she basically quit at level 4. But yeah... Yeah, getting fed on fizz again. I normally get fed on this champion. I just, and again, I, I play him a lot. Because I think in solo queue he's pretty effective because you want to snowball in solo queue. But I just get bored of him really fast. I get bored of obviously champions in general. But for some reason I get bored of... Um... Hold on. I get bored of Fizz really quickly. I don't know why. <clears throat> yeah, right. We went. Plus 20. 10 one, three. Fizz did well. Yay. Uh, yeah, 10 one, 3 farm wasn't crazy, but yeah, I'm never going for farm on an assassin, really. And then damage-wise, eh, don't do a crazy amount of damage. You could argue I'm not doing a lot of damage, because I was mainly just kind of, like, one-shotting and finishing people off. Um, I wasn't doing sustained damage. Like, a Camille was probably doing sustained damage against a Rise a little bit. Um, where, yeah, we were just straight up just killing things. Like, we one-shot the Talon near the end of the game and stuff, and he's probably only got, like, a 1,000 health or 1,500 health at most. So that's most of my, my damage is just one shots adding up instead of sustained damage. But that's going to be it. If you guys did enjoy, throw a like on it, throw a subscribe, throw a comment, and I'll see you guys next time. See you.